Hi, I'm Desi Battle. I'm Candace Kaimo. And I'm Michael Tomakili, and we are the Microgrid Test Platform Senior Design Team. So generally, microgrids are a scaled-down version of decentralized power grid. They can store, distribute, and transfer energy to nearby substations. For our project, we'll be working here at UNLV's microgrid, and we'll be designing a test platform that will push or force the diesel generator outside of its operating parameters and record the data based on the effects of these stressful conditions. To execute this design, we'll be implementing hardware components to the control unit. One of the things we'll be working on is the SEL700GT, which is the inner tie protection relay. This measures signals from the generator to ensure it's operating within standard conditions. If it measures anything outside of its standard range, it will trip the breakers and shut down the generator. So first, we will have to temporarily disable the SEL to effectively run our test. All of the devices inside the control unit are interconnected and can be automated through the Real-Time Automation Controller, or RTAC for short. Software side of things, we actually need to talk about the protocols that are in play in this project. The first protocol is the TCP IP protocol, which is a basic communication protocol. In this case, this protocol is implemented where the computer is connected to the network switch outside in the cabinet, as we're seeing earlier in the video. And the second protocol is the Modbus protocol. That protocol is used in the RTAC outside, and that, that's basically how the RTAC communicates with all the other components inside the cabinet. Now moving on to the software side. So the first software we were introduced to was, as you can see here, the DSC configuration suite. In the upper corner, in this upper corner is the monitor section. Oh no, not the monitor section, the control section. And the good thing about this software is that there is an easy user interface. As you can see here, you can change the frequency with just a simple switch of the tab. Same thing here for voltage, if we were to go over the voltage. Same basic idea. And then down here would, is the monitor section where we would monitor all the data that we collected. So the downside with this is that in exchange for the easy user interface, there is very limited programmability involved. So unfortunately, we won't be using this to uh, communicate directly with the DSE, but we will use it to uh, monitor all the data we collect in this monitor section. Now over here, this is the SEL Accelerator RTAC software, and this is the software we have interest in using. So in this, we will be using a Verilog-based language, and a key component of this software is that we have user-defined registers here. So these registers will be named by the user. It's like similar to declaring variables in C, and over here are the addresses that are provided by the manufacturer. Unfortunately, a working RTAC is currently unavailable, so no test will be performed on this platform at this time, but it'll definitely be part of our future endeavors. For now, as the RTAC is currently unavailable, what we've done is write some test code that can read and write to the DSE registers in Python using a library that's open source uh, provided to us by a previous microgrid team. So what this program would do if the microgrid was working right now is uh, just read uh, the current frequency of the diesel generator and then the voltage and then just uh, nudge it each one both up one and then read it again after the change and then on Python you can just run the code by clicking play and you can see the values that uh, would display they're null and uh, kind of irrelevant values right now just because the diesel generator is not on so it's not reading anything and this is just a page over here to show basically how the structure is for uh, writing to the registers. Each register has a, a page number and then an offset associated with that page number that lets you know uh, how to read or write from it. 